put my hat on. And how is everything going for you now? So I made a list, a to-do list, which helps me because then I can stay kind of focused. So what did I do so far? Well, I dug around the grapes. I dug around two grapes and realized that they were about a meter, each piece was about a meter or a yard long. And I tied them to the, the wires that were coming down from the top. That was a lot of work. Two of them I dug around and I shook out all the soil from the with the grass and such and I put it in the laundry basket and then I carried it over to the compost pile and I dumped it in. And I put up some poles for the teepee, for the hothouse teepee. Well, you know, I planted the seeds this morning, right? The to be scooted down further in this hammock so that my bottom is at the bottom of the thing so that my knees can bend and I can enjoy myself best. I have brought down my screen to drape over myself just in case the mosquitoes decide that they know where I am. What else do I do? See, this morning I went and picked up the spinning wheel. I don't know when I'm going to find time to do that, but I guess I can do that anytime I can do anything else. So I'll just have to do it instead. I took, I have two hoses, well I had one long hose, very, very long, and I split it in half at the connections, and I put a splitter on. I couldn't do it right at the house because they're, the two halves are not that long. So they're actually three parts. So at the end of the first part, which from the house, the first part comes, I put a splitter on, and one goes to the four parts of the soaker hose in the hothouse, in the glass teepee, and one of them goes to the sprayer. So I think I should spray it sometimes and just soak the whole thing. So I put that, I put it together. It's too hot right now. I'll do it in the end of the day. I'll water it at the end of the day. And then I took four or three or two, I don't know how many, three I think, long two by fours, two by four by 20 or 16 or something. And I lean them against the teepee. They don't go all the way to the top of the teepee. And so I lean them there and they're not really proper right yet. I have to do something different with them. I want to close in the doorway. So I have to figure out just how I'm going to do that. Oh, look at the robin right there. He came right here into my sumac hill. Oh, he was right there on that dead branch. Well, of course, I was talking, so he I interrupted his, his calmness as he listens to the bugs and birds. Not all I did, it seems like it took forever. Let me go back to the beginning. This morning, I planted out some seeds. I had put the seeds to sprout. The acorn, no, not acorn, buttercup squash. I love buttercup squash. My favorite food any, ever. So I had I had um, soaked some, so I put them in the soil in the greenhouse near the edge so that they can come over the top and come all over the ground in the teepee. Won't be able to have campfires, but I don't think we can really have campfires till the fall in there anyway because of the garden. But that's okay. So then I should build another teepee beside it. So then... Um, I went and got the spinning wheel, brought the spinning wheel back. On the way home, I stopped at Anchorage. She was building a fence, a property line sort of a fence. It's curved. This is the way it stands. It's kind of curved. And she's weaving it with buff willow, which she has had for a long time. Very tall fence she's making. She's going to put some designs in it and use other things other than just willow. And then, um,
Then I came back, I brought the spinning wheel in the house, wrote in my journal, and I uploaded a bit. Everything is uploaded. Every single thing is uploaded. There is no queue line at all. This is really cool. I like doing this. So, well, actually, there are three videos in here, but I just took them. I'm going to put them all together. They're about a, sh a sheep that got out of his fence. I have to go put a new post in there. Not right now. Now I have to relax. So I got home. I uploaded a few things, and I brought the spinning wheel in, and I journaled for a few minutes. I was about to go to town. I thought, well, before I go to town, I'm going to dig around the grapes. I'm going to do the hose. I'm going to transplant things. So I dug up some astilbes, all my astilbes. They were beside the greenhouse up there, which is sort of moist, but it doesn't have, um, they don't, they don't ever get huge like these astilbes are supposed to. So I'm going to put them down here, somewhere over there by the pond where it's nice and moist all the time. That's my plan. I'm sticking to it. So I planted all of those seeds in the teepee. There's not room for them. They should have been down here, but it's so late in the season. And But we're having such a cold year. And it's going down, you know, it's not, I mean, it's just barely in the 70s today, which is lovely. I love it. It's beautiful. It is warm enough to have short sleeves on today, though, and to want to be in the shade. As soon as we get the warmth, we want to be out of the sun. So silly. So the astilbe are in the car. I have to drag the laundry basket out or go back and forth one at a time and plant them out. I have to decide on a spot. I think down at the other end of the pond down there would be the place. Down at the other end. This is the first time I've laid in this hammock this year. I got out of the car. I have these, my screen tent. I brought down one extra. I have two of them. So I left one up at the um, at corner cedar and I brought the other one down. There are two halves of one screen tent. So this one will be very useful here because I have a lot of time to be here in the bugs. And I also brought down another screen um, shelter thing that I can sit in. For listening to the bird, the frogs. Hmm. I brought down my shovel. So there you go. See how beautiful it is down here now. All the Joe Pie. I love that it's Joe Pie and not grass. That apple tree over there is covered. You can't see anything but my finger. There. I'm so sorry. So sorry. That apple tree over there is covered with apples. I need to bring down my hammer and nail and put up that sign which says Sumac Hill. This is Sumac Hammock in Sumac Hill. I also have my other camera in case I see a bird I want to check out. And I brought my mango and my towel. All right, and that's that. That is the way it goes. I'm gonna eat my mango. See you later, goodbye.